Hello, Dragons. My name is Zach. I'm the founder of Deliver Me, and this is my co-director, Aaron Branch. We are here today to pitch for £50,000 investment into our on-demand delivery app, Deliver Me. We want to make it possible to order anything, anytime, anywhere for the spontaneous, the vulnerable, and those of us that experience life's little emergencies. Using our prepaid card technology, we were looking to disrupt the on-demand delivery market by diversifying what is available on the platform away from just food, also including technology and pharmaceuticals. We also have a verified store program which allows us to partner with independent stores and allows them to offer anything for the consumer. Ahead of our launch next month, we are looking at utilising the 725 riders, couriers and drivers that we have onboarded successfully already. We would like to thank you very much for the opportunity to pitch our app and would welcome any questions. Guys, so the idea is if I'm at home on my own with a newborn baby and they've got a nappy rash and I need specific nappy rash cream, you go and find it for me. Yes. So this idea, I remember first seeing it in San Francisco eight, nine years ago. Yes. yes. In the UK, there are other players in this space currently trying to do exactly this. So where does your business stand within that context? I've seen the competitors in the US do it really well and it's a very similar model, so I know it works. Other apps have tried this, but they still require a relationship with that vendor. We don't, because we're the first ones with the prepaid card side. It allows us to scale a lot faster than the other competitors out there. How does your model work? Because I'm assuming if I want to buy a set of nappies, you, are you putting on a margin on top of those nappies for you or are you just charging me a delivery cost? So we have a delivery fee, £1.50 for pickup and drop off. And we also have a service fee of £1 per mile. If I go on there and think, do you know what? My phone's just broken. I want you to go and pick me up a £1,000 phone. I pay that through your site. Yeah. Yep. You're then crediting the driver with the prepayment and then it could take him an hour by the time he queues up mm -hmm. or she queues up and then deliver it to me. You're going to have to throw a lot of cash at this and be prepared to lose money as you roll this out. I agree, yeah. We've definitely taken that into account. How much? We estimate 15 million to roll out. How much? 15 million. Whoa. Guys, do you really think you're a delivery service or do you think you're a shopping service? Great point. We actually have coined the phrase of having us as your personal shopper. The reason that starts getting really complicated is when you're actually shopping for somebody, you know, it could be standing at the till for hours, product isn't there, got to go to another shop, deliver it to me, I've got the wrong product, it's taken me hours, it's, you know, it just feels like the customer service on this is going to be a nightmare. And that makes it really hard for me to invest. I'm sorry, guys, I won't be. I'm out. The proposal that you've come in with today, for me, is definitely not investable, guys. I'm out. My big worry is if there was this much of an opportunity, mm -hmm. one of the incumbents in the market at the moment would do it, or one of the successful people executing this in the US would roll this out into Europe. So I'm sorry, I can't invest, and I'm out. Looking at this as an investment opportunity is really, really hard. What you should have done, if you want to move into this market, this should be shopforyou.com, so that the consumer knows exactly what you're about. This is about shopping for you. Mm -hmm. You'll have to rethink this model really quickly. But for an investor sitting here now, this is definitely not an opportunity. If I was to invest 50K, I would expect that to go in the first week. So I'm out. How are you feeling following all of that feedback from my fellow dragons here? I think all the feedback is good feedback. It's been great for us. I think because we're at a point where we're very agile and we can adapt and change. That's really good to hear. I think you're good guys. The way you presented today and your humility and self-awareness, highly, highly respectable. And I really deeply hope that you don't walk out of here and then carry on yeah. with your plan to launch in the near term because right now you are running towards a blazing inferno. No, and I don't want to be burned. I wish you the very, very best, but I'm going to say that I'm out. Thanks for all the feedback. We will take it on board. Thank you. Take care. We needed that, you know, multi-millionaires to look at this business and see the flaws. 
It's a once in a lifetime opportunity to receive that feedback. And I feel like we've got some really good ideas to go and think about.